Hi there, I'm going to show you Cornell Active Text, a set of 10 free text plugins to simplify titling tasks in Premiere Pro and other editors. These plugins are free. You can download them right now, cornell.com slash free to get all our free plugins in one installer or cornell.com slash trial to get all 220 plugins in our Cornell Complete installer. I'm going to start off by showing you how the built-in titling works in Premiere Pro and if you've changed over from another editor you might have noticed that it's a little bit awkward uh, if you're doing lots of titles and changing the text. A common task you might have to do in documentary, news, sports or uh, ever events is to take one title that you're happy with, duplicate it onto a different clip and change the name or some other aspect. These are all the steps that you have to use to do that using the built-in titling tool. Select File, New Title, lay out the title until you're happy, close the title to create new title in the library, drop that onto the clip in the timeline. Now you want to duplicate it. You have to go back into the title tool, select New Title based on Current Tool, then save it, then drop that new clip onto the timeline. Got that? If you have to do that for 30 or 40 clips, it's pretty painful. So now I'm going to show you how to do the same thing with only two steps for each new title using Cornell Active Text. So first of all, once you've installed the Cornell Active Text plugins, they appear in your effects bin as shown here. You can drag and drop these directly onto a clip in the timeline, but the way we recommend to get a little more control is to say File New Transparent Video Layer, drop the video layer over the clip where you want your titles to go, and then apply one of the Cornell Active Text effects as shown. The first thing you'll notice is that they are pre-animated and just by changing the timing of your transparent video layer on the timeline you've got complete control of your animation fade in and fade outs. So now we're going to double click on the clip to open the effect controls and show you the parameters. So we can type in our text here. Here we've got a title for the car number of our onboard camera in this clip. And then you can choose the font, uh, all the other sort of text controls you'd expect are there for tracking and leading, and also left and right and center alignment. And when you're happy with the layout, what you can do then is adjust the timing by going down to the in time and out time parameters and by setting the values here you're setting the time in seconds of the animation in and out times for the title. In this case it's just a simple fade in fade out but all these titles work the same way, the same basic parameters. So what I'm going to do now is just adjust the timing of this title we've just made to be the same length as the clip it's on top of and then we're going to just copy paste that title to each of the other clips on our timeline uh, one by one and a good tip for CS6 is you can also just hold down option and drag the clip to duplicate it instead of using copy paste and once we've got them on the timeline and we've got the length of all of them correct then all we do is just go in double click on each one to get into the effect controls change the text and that's it. We've got animated titles on all our different clips that quickly with only two steps for each clip, as you can see here. So let's finish uh, changing put a car number on this one and then just have a play of what we've done so far. And you've got instant titles animated to the lengths of the clip with no keyframes, no messing around with the title editor, no having to go back into the uh, library, uh, clip library. It's just all copy paste on the timeline. There's five different plugins in Active Text. So now we're going to show you a pre animated lower third plugin where the main text, subtext, and gradient all fade in separately. And as well as the basic plugin, there's a whole bunch of presets for all the plugins. So you can take a look at the different pre-made templates we've set up. And you've got complete control of the uh, gradient color and position and layout of these. And also when you've got one that you're happy with and we put in our main text and the subtext, 
Um, you then just adjust the delay parameter. That's the delay in seconds between each element of the template. So our gradient, main text, and subtext. And just type in value one for that, in this case, half a second. And you play, and everything is animated to the length of your title, no keyframes. I'm going to jump back to the introduction of this video. And here you'll be able to see the five different uh, plugin animation styles that we're giving you in Active Text. Now, I'm just going to jump into one of them in a second, and we'll go back to the Liquid Text plugin. And you can see how we can adjust the, uh, the strength and softness of a ripple effect. The thing to note is that all these plugins have the same basic parameters and the, the in time and out time parameter, and then they have specific parameters for the uh, way that they animate in and out. You can get detailed help for each individual plugin by going to the effect parameters and clicking on the help banner as shown here, and then scrolling down and finding a specific plugin, and then you've got a full list of all the parameters, details for those. Most of the Active Text plugins can be applied on transparent video for the best control. But with two of the plugins, Text Rays and Glow In Out, you'll get a nicer look if you apply them directly onto the video layer that you want the title over. In that case, you can razor blade the layer to the desired length of the title, then apply the Active Text plugin. I'm just going to give you a closer look at the timeline that created that text introduction. And that probably looks a bit like an After Effects timeline with all the layers we've got for each individual text element there. And of course, you can do all this stuff in After Effects, but if your job is mostly an editor, you probably don't really want to have to jump into After Effects just to create some uh, simple text animations. So jump in, have a play, and see how much time these uh, pen free plugins can save you. But also, if you download our Cormel free pack, you get over 35 plugins selected from our whole Cormel complete range of plugins, including uh, four of free plugins from the image flow range to create instant image montage animations, and our VU set of plugins that create animations from the audio in your project, plus a selection of other ones, of transitions, glows, blurs, etc. And please also tell us what else you'd like to see, especially in a future version of Active Text with a lot more sophisticated text layout and a lot more animation styles. Uh, we're working on it. Thanks. Bye.